Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working with Todoist series. My name is Carl Pauline and this week I'm going to introduce you to the best productivity system that's ever been created. Now that's a big claim. What I'm going to show you today is how to set up what is called the Ivy Lee method in Todoist because the Ivy Lee method is the system that all the most productive people you've ever read or heard about use every single day. Sir Richard Branson, Elon Musk, Tony Robbins, Brian Tracy, all of these people use the Ivy Lee method or a variation on this method. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how you can set this up in Todoist I'm also going to show you how you set up the 2 plus 8 system, which is my variation on the Ivy Lee method. Now, if you want to learn more about the Ivy Lee method, just click up there in the info. Sorry, it's up there actually, the information. I have put a link to the video where I explain how this system works and more importantly, why it works. So without further ado, let me take you into my demo account now and show you a couple of ways that you can take advantage of this brilliant productivity system. Okay, so if we're going to do the Ivy Lee method, what we need to be thinking of is how can I see just the six tasks that I'm going to do tomorrow? Now, those of you who use the 2 plus 8 prioritization system, I'm going to show you that in the second part of this video, but really let's keep this as simple as we possibly can and think in terms of how can we really get ourselves focused in on the six most important tasks for tomorrow. Now, the quickest and easiest way to do this is to start off in your upcoming because your upcoming is going to tell you what's coming up over the next few days. Now, this is, a, as you probably know, is my demo account. But what I've done is I've set it up so that in this imaginary world that I live in right now in my demo account, we have everything completed for Friday. So we're looking now, this is my final 10 minutes in front of my computer at the end of the day, and I go into my upcoming view and I look at what the tasks I've got for tomorrow. Now, ideally what you want to be doing is only flagging tasks that you're going to do tomorrow. Now, I'll be perfectly honest, there are some of my areas of focus, my recurring areas of focus, that I treat as already decided that these are going to be my focus or option of my objective task for the, for the day. So I can do that already. But let's just go, let's do this from a clean sheet. Now, the simplest way to do this is just to create a label. And what I would do is uh, today's, I would just call this today's... Uh, focus tasks because I like the word focus. You can call this whatever you want, like today's most important task or today's MITs. Because it's important, I'm going to flag this red. I'm going to color it red. I'm going to add that label. Now I'm going to go into my labels here. I don't have any labels right now. So I'm going to just click on that and I'm going to add that to my favorites by going down there. Now you'll notice up here, favorites comes right here. Now, one of the things, by the way, that people says, why do I get these little under bars? I, I'm not sure why. Something changed in Evernote a few months ago, and now our labels and our filters will have these underscores between words. Sorry about that. There's not a lot you can do about that. So now that I've got this label, obviously I've got nothing in there. So let's go back to the upcoming all I need to do now is I can go down here and I can add the labels. So I'm looking at this and thinking, right, yes, that has to be done. So I can clap up top on there and I can, <laughs> I cannot do it from here. How did I know that? You can't do it from here, uh, but that's no problem. What I'll do is you can just go in there, tap on the task like that and go to your label right there. And I can just click today's focus task. That's done. So now there are a there is a quicker way of doing this, of course. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and I'm just going to highlight these tasks of doing this. So weekly planning session, of course, is a must. So I'm going to do command and uh, tap. What you'll notice now is the screen has changed. This has gone gray and I've got options up here, particularly the label. So I can go down here. Now, remember, I'm only allowed six and I've done one already. So let's go and have a look at five. I'm going to do that one is important. I must do that tomorrow. 
and let's have a look uh, going down here. Uh, I must record the YouTube videos tomorrow because I haven't done them yet. I'm actually doing them right now. And exercise is also important. So there's my five things that I must do tomorrow. I'm going to go up to my labels right here. And I'm going to click on that and hit return. Oops. <laughs> uh, hit that and we're done. So that label has now been done. If I hit it across there, my labels are done. Now, that's all sorted out. Now, the thing is, when I come to my task list tomorrow, I have my tasks, my six tasks that I want to do. So that's one way. That's a simple way of doing it, just adding the labels. Now, I don't use labels. So how would I do this? Well, I would do this using flags. So let's just go in here and I'm going to remove the label because I think it looks untidy, but that's just me. Um, so let's just remove these labels. So I'm going to go into here and I'm just going to uncheck that and then I'm going to hit cross and that's removed the labels. They've gone. So that's one. I'm going to remove that from favorites. Let's do this how I would my preferred way of doing it. So let's go into filters. Now I have in filters today's focus. Now there's no tasks in there, but if you look at the filter here, I've got, I'm going to edit the filter. So what we've got is today and not P4. Now P4 is the basically the white flag. You don't see that. And you've got exclamation mark, which means not. I'm going to add this to my favorites and I'm going to save that. So now that's right there. Now this isn't going to show up right now because we're going to go back into, uh, into my upcoming. But the reason why I clicked on the three buttons a moment ago is because you can add the flags from here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go into here and I'm going to add the flag. I don't need to do that one. Let's go down here and look at these. So I'm look again, you can do it by the way, you can do it the other way, but I'm going to do the invoices. You can again, you can go in there. I can say that must be done. I need to do that. Then I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to do that with in the morning. I'm going to go down here, the sales report. Uh, no complete weekly planning session. That's an important one. I'm going to do the red flag. Now, while we're doing this, what I should do is I should show you that you can do it the same way as I did before. So let's go uh, command click on that one. I need to write the business, the podcast script. As we go down here, I'm looking at this. I must do the YouTube videos. Exercise must be done. And that's, oh, I'm going to do, have I, let's do my comp performance review. I can now go to here and add a priority. I'm just going to add a priority two and they're up at the top. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one of these has to go. This is one of the cool things about this. One has to go. The per personal performance through performance is the one I'm going to get rid of. So I'm going to just remove the flag if we're doing a pure Ivy Lee method. And now I just need to, what I can do is just prioritize these. Exercise is my most important one. So I'm just going to hit the red flag there. And that gives me my two. And then I've got four other tasks that I can do. Now, this is great, except for one thing. Uh, when you go into your today's focus, it's not showing anything. That's because these are set for tomorrow. So let's just change the date on these and you'll see what your list looks like. And it's one of the reasons why I actually prefer um, to do it this way. I'm going to change the date on this and move it to today. So we've done that. Let's go into today's focus. And now I've got this beautifully clean looking today's focus. Now, Imagine you're looking at this on your phone or you're looking at this on an iPad or you just open up your laptop and you just see six tasks for you to focus on today. How are you going to feel? You're going to feel much more motivated because you've already made that decision that these are my six most important tasks for the day. When you look at it and you start to really realize that when, when you start to prioritize correctly, one of the most beautiful things that's going to happen is you are going to get so much better focused and you're going to get so much more important work done. It's far better than just having a, a huge list of things like like in here. Uh, I haven't got because <laughs> it's my demo account. I don't actually have any long list. Let's just go into uh, there. That's a board routine. So it could be that you go down your list and you look at that and you're just not going to feel motivated. But this way you feel incredibly motivated. Now let's just go and change the date back to tomorrow because what I want to do is 
this does not hide other tasks. So let's just reschedule that for tomorrow. Uh, so go up, and now my today's focus is clear. Let's go back into upcoming. I've still got all these tasks that need doing, okay? That's fine, because that's the real world. We're not just going to have six tasks to do each day when we're at work. That, that's just a given. But what you're wanting to do is to hide the tasks that are not your priority for the day. doesn't mean that you won't do them, but you've decided and preferably the night before, that these are your most important tasks. Now, before we go any further, I said I'd show you in the second part of this in, uh, video the, my preferred way. I operate something called the 2 plus 8 prioritization system. And what that means is two of these tasks are my objectives. These must be done no matter what. Even if I have to pull an all-nighter to do it, these have to be done. And in that situation, what I do is I, I flag those red. Those are my red flags. I then have eight other tasks that I, I describe as my should-do tasks. And the reason for this is when I did an experiment a few years ago, I realized that I know every day pretty much consistently I'm going to be able to do these 10 tasks. So what I do is I go down here and think, right, what are most important? I must contact Professor Dent. So I'm going to do that in the afternoon, hence the reason why I have these flags. So these ones here, orange means morning and blue means afternoon. Now this is just a guide for me. It's not necessarily uh, a, a golden rule, but it's just a guide just to help me stay a little bit more focused on what I want to do. And I'm going to do my personal uh, performance review because that's important. I'm going to do that in the afternoon. And that's it. Now, another way that I do this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how I do this. I probably covered this when I did my um, <clears throat> weekly uh, when I showed you my full system but let's just go into here I'm going to change the date again to today so that we can see what it looks like in my today's focus so here we got my today's focus but what I want to do is I want to separate these out now again as I say we've we haven't quite got the full 10 here we've got two four six eight but you know adding two more down here isn't going to make this list overwhelming what I like to do is I'm just going to go into here stop that I'm going to create a sort so I'm going to go in there and I'm going to custom sort so I'm going to group by priority and I'm going to sort by well it doesn't really matter once you group by priority it doesn't really matter anything else so click, click sort now this is how I like to see my focus list every day. So when I come to looking at the, this list in the morning, I've got my two most important tasks at the top. I've got my morning tasks that I want to focus on and I generally get most of my sit down work done in the morning. And then I've got my afternoon tasks right there. And I just love this view because it keeps me really focused in terms of the time of day I am and my priorities. Now, once I've completed these tasks throughout the day, so let's just say I'm going to complete, I've done that, I've done my exercise, I've done this, I've done that. Uh, let's say I've just got all my morning tasks done, I've done my invoices, they're all done. What I usually do later in the afternoon is I switch over to my today and that will give me everything that's remaining for the rest of the day. So I usually do that mid to late afternoon and what that would do is that would then show me all these and some of these probably I would just reschedule them like the office cleanup for example I would prefer to do that on a Saturday morning maybe the garage spring clean I'm thinking I haven't got it's going to rain all weekend so I'm just going to do it next weekend so there's you know I can reschedule these these are the less important tasks these ones are my most important tasks and so that's what I wanted to do today is just to show you how you can manipulate to do is using either a label if you prefer or I find flags are a much easier and quicker way of doing it to really get you to focus in on your most important tasks. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. Thank you so much for watching and it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week.